Hello and welcome to RS Gaming Videos. I'm uh, here playing the Volts Pack again. You see, uh, last time I made uh, these conveyor belts, which are powered from my uh, battery box and generator. But um, very nice conveyor belts. But um, it's not much use using them unless we can put things in and out of chests from the conveyor belt and onto the conveyor belt. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, manipulators. So uh, the first thing I'm going to need to start making a manipulator, or I'm going to make two in these in this um, demonstration. I'm going to need to make some uh, dispensers, and that's going to be the basis of it. Let's make another one so that I've got two. There we go, two dispensers. I'm going to move over to here. We've got some bronze. I'm not going to show how to make bronze because I've shown that already uh, in previous videos, uh, and also you can look it up yourself. I'm sure. So you've got two bronze plates like that, so in a, a, a two by two square. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some insulated copper wires. So we're going to take some copper ingots and some leather, like so. I don't know why I had so much leather actually. To be honest, I didn't need that. Didn't need that much. Um, so yeah, we go. And I'm also going to convert them from this kind of copper wire to this kind of copper wire. So next I'm going to make some advanced circuits. So in addition to the wire and the bronze plates I've got, I'm going to need eight redstone for the two circuits I'm going to make. And so I'm going to put the redstone at the top and the bottom and the two sides. Uh, oh, I haven't got enough wire actually. Hang on, I can go back in a minute. And I've got one basic circuit. Uh, I'm just going to... If I drop that there for a second, I know for a fact I've got some more wire here, just need a couple more. So there we go. If I put them in the right place, bronze in the middle, uh, and the four redstone in the remaining spaces. And we've got two basic circuits. And it's very simple to convert dispensers to manipulators. We put the dispensers there, and the basic circuits there in the middle, and we've got manipulators. So there we go, we've got two of those. Uh, get rid of that leather, don't want that. So, um, they look kind of interesting. They look quite cool. They're matching with the conveyor belt, so I'm just going to actually get this stuff out here, because I'm going to need this in a minute. If I break it with my Paxel. There we go. Um, so, as with the conveyor belts, you see we've got these powered from below. Now, we're going to do the same with the manipulators. So, I'm going to put some wire there. And I put a manipulator on top. Now you can see it's facing the wrong way, so we get our wrench and we right click it and now it's going the other way. But you notice that arrow is facing in as if it can absorb items. So if we're gonna we're gonna hold shift and right click whilst holding shift, we might have to do it a couple of times. And now you can see it's facing the same way as these other arrows. Um and that is um that's the setup I need to do for that. Now I'm gonna put an um, an inventory, it doesn't matter any any, any inventory. Uh, I'm going to put some dirt and a, a few bits of wire in there. And if I now put a lever next to it, and I power it, as long as the arrow is facing out, it's going to take stuff out of the inventory behind it, and it's going to put it there. Which is very cool. So there we go. Now at this end, I'm going to want it to go back into a chest. So I'm going to break this block here, and put another bit of cable, so that we can get more um, power up this end. I'm going to put my other manipulator there. Again, face it around the right way. Now you notice the default way is right to put stuff into chests. So I don't need to change what direction that's that's working in. Uh, and I'm going to put a chest there. So that means if I activate this with some redstone, it's going to go along the conveyor belt and into there. So it's very convenient. If, I, if there's no chests there, then it will... Um, well, I'll show you what it will do. Now you can make an automated system just to press the redstone all the time on, on its own. But you see it just drops it out behind there. Uh, and it should, if I'm correct, if I drop a couple of items down there, you should be able to suck them. No, maybe not. Okay, well I thought you could. But um, yeah, it's very interesting. Very easy way to use this, put stuff in and out of chests, uh, transport systems, 
uh, if you don't like to use pipes. Or actually, these these look a lot nicer than um, than pipes do. I I like them a bit more. I like more mechanical stuff, really. Um, so yeah, that's that's about all there is to show with this. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, there will be more vaults tutorials. There are indeed more on my channel or on the website, which is rsgamingvideos.co.uk. Go there and you can find all of our videos. Um, you can also go to the Vaults Wiki to find out more um, about any of these things that you've seen. If I haven't explained enough, go look at go look it up on the Wiki, uh, and it's all there. And people are contributing it to it all the time. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.